corrosives are commonly categorized into acids and alkalis. Common acids are sulfuric acid, which is also known as oil of vitriol, is H2SO4. Nitric acid is aqua fortis, is HNO3, and hydrochloric acid or HCl. The commercial products or where these acids are used, sulfuric acid is used in bleaches and cleansers. Nitric acid in dishwashing gel, woodworking, metal cleaners. Hydrochloric acid is used in toilet bowl cleaners. Oxalic acid, disinfectants, household bleach, anti-rust products, furniture, refinisher. Carbolic acid is used as antiseptics and preservatives. Ammonia in toilet bowl cleaners, hair dyes, glass cleaners and wax removers. Sodium hydroxide is used in detergents, paint removers and drain cleaners. All the acids are very commonly used. Now what are the physical properties? Sulfuric acid is colorless, odorless and non-fuming. Nitric acid is colorless when pure. The older samples tend to acquire a yellow cast due to accumulation of oxides of nitrogen. You can see in the second image, it is yellowish in color. Pungent, choking and fuming. Hydrochloric acid is colorless, pungent, sour and fuming. Now how it acts on the body? The mineral acid produces coagulative necrosis precipitate proteins with resultant hard ischia or scab have no remote action and acts as irritant when slightly diluted. Acids usually causes second degree deep partial thickness burns tend to be clearly demarcated and are dry, hard and mildly edematous. Stomach is the most commonly involved organ in acid ingestion. This is due to some natural protection of the esophageal squamous epithelium. Now what are the signs and symptoms in acid ingestion? Corrosion of the skin, mucous membrane and tongue. There will be osopharyngeal burns and burning pain in throat and epigastrium, dysphagia, dysphonia and dyspnea. Eructation, thirst, vomiting. The vomitus may contain altered blood and mucous membrane. The teeth, it is chalky white, brittle in H2SO4 poisoning and yellowish coating and not brittle in HNO3 poisoning that is nitric acid poisoning. Constipation, suppressed urination, tenesmus with mucus, tenesmus is painful desire to evacuate the bowels, altered blood in stools, stiffness, distension and tenderness over the abdomen. There may be perforation of stomach in case of sulfuric acid poisoning. Remember it is usually seen with sulfuric acid poisoning, perforation of stomach. Now, how to treat such cases? Gastric lavage and emetics are contraindicated. You are not going to do a gastric lavage in case of acid poisoning. Acid is immediately diluted by giving a glass of milk or water to drink and aluminum hydroxide gel. Do not give bicarbonate or other neutralizing agents. Bicarbonate will produce carbon dioxide which will further aggravate the condition. Correct the circulatory shock, IV fluids, blood products and antibiotics are administered. Tracheostomy if there is edema of the glottis. NPO that is nil per orally. Nutrient substance are given IV for about a week, then try liquids, soft food and finally a regular diet. Morphine to relieve pain, symptomatic treatment, as and when the symptoms appear.